Are you ready to be great? Stop letting self-doubt, insecurity, and fear prevent you from building your business. This morning, wake up to success. Here's John Preston. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Wake Up to Success. Today, I want to give a big shout out to the success last night of the Georgia Bulldogs winning their first national championship in 40 years. I was a eighth grader the last time they won the championship back with Herschel Walker in 1980, and now they're champions again. Over the last several episodes, I've been looking at how a lot of the lessons in the world of sports apply to us in real life. The same lessons that lead national championship teams to become national championship teams apply to our boardrooms, our sales meetings, our offices at our own business. They all apply to us in terms of being successful as well. We can be champions in our own life through that effort. Now, even though Georgia won last night and Alabama lost, I still want to continue one last look at some of the wisdom of Nick Saban, the Alabama football coach. His teams have won four championships in the last decade and came close to winning another one last night. And what makes their teams consistently great are the same skills that you and I can use in our rooms and and for our own lives to be successful. So today's quote, I want to look at this quote from Nick Saban. A champion is not an easy process. It is done by focusing on what it takes to get there and not on getting there. One of the biggest mistakes we all make on our way to greatness or on our way to try to get to greatness is we look at the results and not the activity and action. We can't always control the results. What we can control is the process. And as as Saban points out with this quote, it is not about getting there. It is focusing on what it takes to get there. In all of our lives, in all of our business opportunities, we know what we need to do to be successful. It's not a mystery. We all understand our own businesses, our own products, our own sales processes. We understand what we need to do to get to where we want to be. We just often don't want to get there or we focus on the results. And when we focus on the results, it can cost us our head of steam. We can lose our momentum because we're trying to judge the growth of our business based on things beyond our control. If you focus on the process and you focus on your actions that you control and you focus on the things you need to do to be successful and to be a champion, guess what? You're going to be a champion. Those things fall into place when you focus on the process. Doesn't matter whether you're on the football field or in the office. It's the same. When you show up at a football practice with Nick Saban, they are not thinking about what's going to happen at the game. What they're thinking about is each player is focusing on what he or she can control and what they can do. Because if they know if everybody on that team does what they're supposed to do, the end result is a championship. And that's the lesson you need to take from that field into your own life. Focus on the process. Focus on the things you can control and the things you do, knowing that if you do them well and you do them consistently and you continue to do them over and over again, the success will come. 